Hi there and welcome to this quick tip video on do-it-yourself synthesis. Today we're going to have a close look at Retrolog 2, which is a virtual instrument designed to emulate some of the great classic analog synths. But the advantage of having a digital emulation is we can do so much more in the process of creating a sound. To start building your own sound, you need to start working with oscillators. Now oscillators are generating different types of waveform, and each waveform will have its own distinct sound. Have a listen. The square waveform has its own shape parameter, which changes the pulse width, which is the difference between the highest and the lowest ratio in the waveform. Around 50 is a perfect square waveform. Don't worry about technical details to start, just use your ears. I'm going into multi-mode now, which will allow me to play up to eight oscillators at one point in time. It really gives a thicker texture. I'm mixing the second oscillator in now and also putting that into multi-mode. Now let's add up to eight oscillators. Now I'm detuning that second oscillator section and once again controlling the mix in the oscillator mixer. Let's turn on the third oscillator. It's quite a jagged sound. So I'm finding a waveform that works with the other two oscillators. Now I'm changing the octave on the third oscillator. I'm deliberately looping a track in the background because I want you to hear how these changes affect the overall sonic picture of a mix. I'm going backwards and forwards and working these oscillators and the oscillator mixes to blend something that I like. Now I'm adding a sub oscillator which is adding some lower end depth. Adding some noise to your sound can really help add texture to a sound and more so help us when it comes to filtering out the overall mix of these oscillators. But we'll get to that in a moment. For now I'm just blending in this noise sound and I'm going through and trying different types of noise in the mix with my oscillators. Next stop, we've got a ring modulator, which adds a type of robotic, almost metallic sound to the mix. It may not work everywhere, but once again, it can really help us shape our sound into the overall track mix. Now I've moved over to my amplifier, and I'm just giving the sound a slower attack. So it's taking longer for each note to build and decay. We can control the attack or the decay, the sustain or the release using the envelope in the amplifier section. Next up, we've got our filter section, which does exactly what it says it does. It filters the sound that's coming through it. We can choose from any number of high class filters in this section. We can change the envelope. We can also use the cutoff and the resonance to even further shape the tone of our sound. The filter section also has its own envelope, so we can control how quickly the filter cuts in and how long it remains. I think sometimes the oscillator part or combining them together is the easy part in building your own synth sound. Once you start messing with the amplifier and the filter section, one minute change will change the makeup of your whole entire sound. So it is important to really spend some time playing with each individual parameter and trying to understand the difference it's making to the overall sound of the synthesizer. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how easy it is to drag and drop modifiers over the top of parameters inside of Retrolog 2. We'll also take a good look at the effects page and the arpeggiator page. I'll catch you then.